Palace of Versailles, a hunting lodge turned royal accommodation. It houses secrets, history, and breathtaking beauty in its walls. From the royal bedchamber to Marie Antoinette's humble hamlet. It's truly history worth exploring. The extraordinary Palace of Versailles sits just 10 miles outside of Paris. It started its life off as a hunting lodge and private retreat for King Louis XIII. King Louis XIV, perhaps better known as the Sun King, expanded the palace into a massive, extravagant complex and the center of French government. Versailles was the quintessential royal palace, and every inch of space was employed to show that Louis was indeed the divine monarch. Louis brought the country together under his rule. He made France the European superpower of the day, complete with a strong military and booming economy, and Versailles was designed specifically to honor him. Here, Venus reminds those below that love ruled at Versailles. You'll follow a crowd through a series of opulent rooms with unique paintings, sculptures, and intricately designed furniture in every one. The famous Hall of Mirrors was a unique show of wealth and power. Mirrors were one of the biggest luxuries of the day, and so naturally, Louis had over 350. The grounds of Versailles are equally impressive. With expansive views and lush gardens, exploring the grounds is a must when visiting. Fountains run on the weekends, but crowd levels are often higher as well. The Apollo Basin shows the sun god rising across the sky, bringing with him the day. Versailles was so often humming with people that Louis needed a place to escape all the rigid formality of the main palace. So naturally, he built this smaller palace, the Grand Trianon, in 1687. Far away from the main palace, you'll find this hidden treasure, the hamlet of Marie Antoinette. Marie felt that she had strayed away from the common people, so she had this small fairy tale village built in the Garden of Versailles. She was so out of touch with the reality of her people that she believed this was how the common people lived. This was actually a working farm, and Marie would escape here whenever possible. Versailles was built to honor the King of France, but these days, the palace honors the people of France. When visiting, take time to relax by the Grand Canal with locals and tourists alike. After all, it's quiet moments like these that make travel something worth celebrating.